What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mr. Baker, coming at you with another Chrome Music Lab tutorial. This time, it's everybody's favorite holiday classic, Schmerl of the Schmells. Nope, Carol of the Bells. Let's get right to it. Chrome Music Lab. First things first, click the top link. Click the smiley face guy that says song maker, because we're about to make a song, so let's go. I'm going to change the settings, first and foremost. Do not put anything in until you have changed the settings, because... If you don't change the settings for this particular song, you're not going to have a good time. Go to settings, change the length of the song from four bars to eight. You're going to double the length of the song. Now, eight bars of length, we're going to change the beats per bar on the next one down to three. Because this song counts to three over and over instead of four, like a lot of songs do. The other thing I want you to change is the range from two octaves to one octave. So the three things you change are length from four bars to eight bars. Beats per bar down to three beats, range to one octave. Click the blue check to save your settings. Otherwise, if you click the X, it won't save them. Now, first and foremost, change the tempo. Tempo is a fancy word that means the speed of the song, in case you forgot. I want you to put it on 180. That's a very smooth tempo for this particular song. And then we're going to put in some drums. First, I want you to visualize this as sections. Let me move this. I want you to visualize this as white, gray, white, gray. If you view it like that, it'll be easy to put these notes in and not get confused. Now, I want you to put at the beginning of each white section, a circle. Beginning of each gray section, a triangle. Like that. Beginning of each white, beginning of each gray. I'm going to continue that pattern all the way throughout. Beginning of the white, beginning of the gray. Now our drums are laid and the framework is set for us to put some notes in. Now, this first part of the song, the first half of the song is going to use greens, yellows, and oranges. So at the beginning of each section, put a green. Basically, it'll line up with each of these circles and triangles. Now I have some greens in there. I want you to skip one after each green. So skip that whole section and leave it blank and put a yellow. So skip one after green, put a yellow. Skip one after green, put a yellow. Skip after green, put a yellow. Skip after green, put a yellow. Yada, yada, yada. Then after each yellow, don't skip one, put a green right after the yellow diagonally like that so let's review what we have so far green skip one yellow green skip two green skip one yellow green skip two all the way throughout but we need one more color for this first section and that's orange and the orange goes right after this green so don't skip one after the green the second green of each section and put an orange right there So if your pattern looks like that, it should sound like the bottom line of our song, Carol of the Bells. Let's see what it sounds like. Uh, I bet your ear is already thinking where it's gonna go next. Yep, a higher part. So if that sounds great and it sounds lined up like the original song, then move on. If not, go back and fix it. But if you're ready for the second half, we're gonna do the same rhythm throughout, same pattern, but different colors. So I want you to start with a purple on the beginning of each white and gray section here, like so. Purples that line up with your circles and triangles on the second half of the song. Then, similar rhythm as last time, we're skipping one after the first purple and putting a teal. Skip one after the purple, put a teal. Skip one, teal, skip one, teal. Then after those are set, put a purple one right after that teal in the same way we did before, kind of diagonal from each other. So let's check it so far. Purple, skip one. Teal, purple, skip two. That's what each section should look like. Then you're ready to put in that final color to make it all glue together, and that's a green. Right after that purple, pop a green in there. No skipping after the purple. The second purple, you got to put a green after that. So purple, skip one. Teal, purple, green, skip one. Purple, skip one. Teal, purple, green, skip one. Make sure that space is blank after each of the first purples and each green. Then if everything sounds good, it should sound spot on and just like the original song. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. We could keep going. It's got a whole other section to it, but for the sake of time, we'll stop right there. If you want to share your creation with the world, uh, save your song and paste the link to it in the comments. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. My name is Mr. Baker. Thank you for watching. I love you.